Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. Now is not the time to turn our backs on what we have achieved as in this country. We have sacrificed far too much. We have lost too many lives. We have lost too many jobs, too many businesses to change track now. The government's objective has always been to save as many lives as possible and to protect the NHS. And there is now a light at a very, very dark tunnel. The vaccine is on its way. Testing is improving all the time. And I personally, for one, believe we cannot turn our backs on that strategy. In a constituency like mine, the cities of London and Westminster, we have paid a huge economic price, as well as a public health one. And I fear for the future of many hospitality businesses in particular who have paid so much um, to make their premises COVID secure. And if there's anything I would ask the Treasury bench to do moving forward as we look into these tiers is to consider allowing people to, from different households to eat inside with the rule of six because restaurants have spent a fortune making their premises so safe and it's so unfair to let them uh, to lose out like this. But the R rate is coming down. The second lockdown did work to bring the R rate down, but it just suppresses it. We are not, we're, not, we're not beating this virus, and we won't until we get a vaccine. You give this virus an inch, it takes a mile. And we see it across Europe. We see it in France, who have just come out of a lockdown, but their restaurants and their bars are staying closed until January. The same in Germany. Spain and Italy are now looking at restrictions. South Korea, the exemplar of how to deal with a pandemic, is now bringing in new restrictions as the uh, infection rate increases when they've opened up their karaoke bars and their nightclubs. So we can't let go now. We've got to keep on going. There is that light. And I would, well, I do welcome the extra financial uh, support for pubs that was announced today. I certainly welcome the 10 p.m. curfew ending. The Secretary of State knows my views on that. Um, I welcome the fact that shops can now open for longer but why not on a Sunday? Why do, is it just Monday to Saturday? People want to shop on a Sunday too. And I have been supporting the Sun newspaper's campaign on that. And I would ask for further consideration. But, Deputy Madam Speaker, we are just there. And we've got to just have that final push so that we can get our lives back to normal and send this virus packing.